Puerto Rico is on hiring locals. We're not going to get into that because we have no control over that.
younger, younger one, but I'm from 19 to like 29, and then by 29 to 57, 56, 57. What's wrong with y'all? Because y'all have the energy, y'all have the strength, y'all have all of this stuff right here to make this happen. This happen, and then we have this group that makes y'all look like Correct. Right. She said it. I did say she said it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, what we decided to do is that we had to create a platform that could facilitate not just the locals that are living in Diana, but also my remigrating Guyanese that are telling you that are retired, that are going back home on social security. Yes, a lot of you didn't listen to Veta and you know find out how y'all could raise some money differently, right? Do different things and put the raise your money differently, right? Mm -hmm. So some of you are coming back home with social security. And we have to create a program for those folks. And then we have the other group that have the money that they're looking for investment properties that they can actually buy and then rent out, which is a great thing to do, by the way, uh, because there are some people that are never, ever going to purchase a house. That is the reality, right? And for those people, you can find a nice rental property, you know, that is above standard, what people expect, and rent it to them, right? You can get as many of those as you want. And then you have my other group that need to piece it together. Some people do not have all of their money, and that's a lot of them, right? And in order to be able to facilitate that group, we have to create programs that they were already familiar with. It's no sense in coming up with something big and fancy. It's fancy, but it works for the average guy or girl. So the reason I give you guys this, there are several programs that we're gonna discuss pretty quickly, and I'm gonna do this every once and every month in your inhale, inhale. And the programs that we have created are created around what you already do. How many of you are in a box right now. Nobody? No susu, no box, nothing? No? So what are y'all got here? Ready this whole box thing? Yeah, you in a box right now? Yeah, you are? Oh, no, I think I did. You can try it. You can do it to yourself. That's a joke. But you might just see the purpose because the goal of the bar is that all of you. Yeah, you can walk up to 20 cents. And if you a penny, you can get a cent. Mmm, that's my girl. That's my girl. Right? I know. But you know what? What we realized is that there are so many people, because I don't have my board to write down and stuff to show you how this magic really happens. There are so many individuals that when we look to their income, because we use everything based on the Diana context, right? Mm -hmm. The average income for our Guyanese is about fifty to sixty thousand dollars a month. Yes, guys, two hundred and fifty dollars. No, no, what Two hundred and fifty dollars a month. Fifty to sixty thousand. The average wages or income that they receive from whichever company they're working for. That's the average income. Fifty to sixty thousand dollars. Now the miscellaneous expenses, 
and they said, but this came in and said, they should find what money, right? <laughs> they find what money. Oh, I'd rather be a friend and watch movies. I know they have movie town movies. Oh, God, I'm more excited. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm put it on. Everything new that is fucked, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have gift fair, you have movie tell, you have all this excitement, and of course, the island, they have a million parties every month, right? Oh, you come in this I'm Right? And then they have Easter coming up and so on. Yeah, it's parties for self. Mm -hmm. You can't afford to even pay attention, and you are finding out money. So, outside <laughs> of that, you have all this going on. And then you have to add in, well, how often do you do your hair? Oh, they do it every two weeks. And your nails, right? After them spoke with you, makeup and so on. Oh, I just buy it every now and again. So how often do you buy your clothes? Oh, wait, you know, if I see a thing I like, I'm just gonna buy it. Out of the 60? Mm -hmm. So how you are making them things is happen? Right? So guess what happened? It's like they're upside it down. You have $60,000 that you're making every month, right? And you got over 150000 in expenses on this side, right? So I'm like, now I understand. If you don't truly understand how or why, you know, the country the way it is, and why people do what they do, it's because they're not making enough money. So that's why I let this here. She got some guy that too, so we could do this, so we could teach them how to increase their income, right? So it was very despondent because I think that group that I surveyed was over 48,872 of them, right? Yes. So that process took about four years, right? Trying to figure out, okay, so how we can create a magic to actually get this visible because we gotta call it the magic, right? So the good part about all that is that we found out that one set of group, they were in a box. Some of them were paid ten thousand a week. Some of them were paying fifteen thousand a week. That's in addition to the money that you do have, right? So, <laughs> yes. Some of them were forty five thousand every fortnight. Some of them were playing all kinds of different, 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 different boxes that they were there and that's how I was like oh well Miss Kenneth can make that because I ain't a daily box and my daily box is making get as money in the month so I can pay my rent and they live in an eight thousand dollar place right mm -hmm. and then oh I have um my kids are in private school so I just chose the box so I could send the children to private school you got me saying it's an old government school <laughs> okay so we had a whole group of these folks that were all in a box, right? So we said, okay, so if you guys could commit to doing this, mm -hmm. then maybe if we created a program around what you're already doing, because we can't sit on the study expenses, we can't do it because we can't have nobody to catch a plane, and I fly back and I come to Atlanta and I said, forget it, if it makes sense, we can't do it, right? So the groups that we had, we did the first, 110, right? Just testing them out in the box. And um, the first group, because the box system is designed that if all you're in the box, you, when you get your hand, you take out your money, you get your all your money, right? And vice versa, you get your money, you get your money, you get your money. So how they understood is that, oh, so when I pay the box now, I am in my house. So you get your box and we take the money and we deal, what's your name? Marley. Marley, better be a daddy. Right? Then Marlin, where she holds, Marlin decides that she already is she out. She ain't got to pay no box no more. Right? <laughs> Marlin, forget that Marlin did not get to her house by herself. Right? Marlin had, what's your name?
Let's see, we're going in line with, with a fake this situation. No, 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 no. We're private. We're not government. Yeah, yeah, I do that. Yeah, we want y'all to get more and more to what is important. All right. So if you own a landing guide, that was the first program that we rolled out because what I meant is that there was a lot of people that got lots from the government, a lot of them, and they had no money to build anything. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm like, how you don't have money to build or you already have the house flat already? The only thing you can do is go go to the bank, find out how much it is so that you can use the land as possible collateral so that you can go and build, but still they didn't make enough money so the bank will not take that risk. Right? In spite of the fact that we had that. Right? So the first program that we had was designed for people with land that didn't have their money to build anything, and that's how we started off. However, we also found that there were a ton of people that didn't have no land that were applying and were waiting and they didn't get through and they applied for new 30 something or 80 something or 90 something and sure didn't have any land. So we decided to now give them an opportunity to build in one of our community. Right? 